Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs, and I'm a content developer within Education Services inside Juniper Networks. And today we will be going through the Paragon Active Assurance Path MTU Discovery Test Learning Byte. All right, so here is our example. In this example, we have the two test agents, TA1 and TA2, which is connected to the control center through the management network using ETH0 on both test agents. And then through ETH1 on both test agents, they connect into the service provider core. And so, okay, what do we want to do? Well, we want to configure a path MTU discovery test. And it's going to be between TA1 and TA2. Now, note that these are test agent appliances. This sort of test does not work with test agent applications. So keep that in mind. And that might change in the future. We're currently using Control Center 3.0.0.1, I believe. And so just keep that in mind. And really what we want to do here is we're going to create a test with two different actions or elements that are going to use the path MTU discovery test. And so with that, we're going to have a client to server and then server to client between the two test agents. So it's kind of kind of be a full mesh test here. And then we want to set the minimum MTU to 1500 bytes. And the server port's going to default to the port of 7000. And then we're going to run the test and examine the results. And what I'll do is I'll run the test first that shows it's successful, a pass result. And then I'll run the test that shows a failed result. And so you'll get a look at both parts of that. And so with that, let's go ahead and jump to the control center and get this going. All right, so here is the control center web interface. Let's go ahead and go to tests and new test sequence. And we'll call this path MTU discovery LB for learning bytes. And the first thing we need to do is we need to find which section this is in. The default section of TCP UDP performance, I don't see anything in here that shows any sort of path MTU discovery, nothing MTU related. And so we could look through each one, but something to keep in mind is this is kind of more of a layer two test, right? So that's going to be under the transparency section. So here in the transparency section, you can see that we have the path MTU discovery task. And notice how it's not a puzzle piece. So we have to run this as an individual step. So this test sequence, since we want to do client to server and then one that's server to client, is going to have two different steps. So let's select that. And then we select the interface. We're going to say ETH1 for TA1 and then the client interface. So the other one was the server interface. And so the client interface, we're going to do TA2 ETH1. And this one's going to be client to server, 1500 MTU, default settings, and server port 7000. That is also the default setting. And then we want to reverse this test and we need to add a new step to do that. So path MTU discovery again, remember we're under the transparency section. And we added that task to a new step. And recall that this is not a puzzle piece, it's a square piece. And so we can't run this step in parallel with the first step or this task in parallel with the first step. They have to be run sequentially, so one after the other. So let's go ahead and select TA1, ETH1 again, and then TA2, ETH1, and we'll change the direction option to server to client and leave the rest of the parameters at their defaults. Let's click Start. And so remember, we're going to run step one first. You can see by the icon up top by step one that it's currently running. And then step two, transition to step two, we can see that's currently running right now. And it went really quick in step one. I'll go back to it, but it's pretty much the same thing that you see here in step two. And the test is complete and everything worked out successfully. You can see here that the server and the client are both configured with 92.16 bytes for the MTU. And then we measured 1500 bytes in the path from the server to client direction. This is for step two. And it passed. It says past 1500 byte path MTU measured. And so there's not much to show here. This is an example of a text based output for a test. And if we jump back to step one, it's pretty much the same thing. The only difference is that uh, TA1 was the client and TA2 was the server, whereas here it's the other way around. And so things look good. And if we hover over these, we can see that information as well. So you notice how you can see here the client is TA2. Actually, I said that backwards, didn't I? And uh, so yeah, yeah, the client is TA2 here. 
on step one and the server is TA1 on step one. And then on step two, if we hover over that, and you can see the rest of the configuration parameters as well. And so let's click rerun. And that allows us to edit things here. So let's change this. Okay, so 1500 MTU worked. Let's try 2000 and do this for both steps and see what the result is. And click the run option again. And again, we start with the first step and we can see the configured MTU for the server and the client. And we see it failed. We measured 1500 bytes on the path. And so we set the minimum value to 2000 bytes. We see that's not going to work, right? That we can actually determine, okay, what is the actual path MTU? Here we can see it's 1500. We saw that with the other when we ran it with setting it to 1500 bytes minimum. But here we can see that as well. And we can see that the test failed because we set the minimum MTU. You can hover over this again and see the minimum MTU set to 2000 for both of these tasks or both of these steps. And so you can see it failed with this test, but it passed with the other one. And the reason behind that is the measured path MTU is 1500 bytes. So that does bring us to the end of this learning byte. In this learning byte, we demonstrate how to configure and run a path MTU discovery test. So as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.